So now we're going to make um, our C Lightning node uh, run through Tor. You can see in the Spark wallet uh, when you go in through your node um, that it says here this node does not accept incoming connections. Um, and you'll also find that uh, there are no IP addresses or any way of being able to contact uh, you from the outside world. The best way for that to happen is through Tor. So we're going to build upon running the Bitcoin node through Tor and now we're going to make our Lightning node run through Tor. So to do that, we're going to need to edit the Tor file. So sudo nano uh, etc tor tor rc. Okay. And we'll go all the way to the bottom of this file. And just after where we put all of this information in, um, we need to uh, give this uh, our lightning service um, a, a Tor address. So to do that, we just type in hidden service dir and we go var lib tor um, and we'll do we'll give it a version three lightning address. So uh, lightning service v3. Okay, so that's where it'll go. Uh, hidden service version uh, we'll do three and we're going to expose the port so hidden service port will be 9735 which is the lightning port uh, 127.0.0.1 colon 9735 okay so we will then um, save that so control X yes and uh, enter and we will restart Tor so system CTL restart Tor okay what that will effectively do is it will um, if we go into a particular folder it'll have a brand new it'll create a new folder um, in here uh, so I'm just going to go into root to uh, view it because you can't view it as as a normal user. So we're just going to change into root there um, And that will be um, CD var lib tor okay. And you'll see a, um, a Folder here lightning service version 3 so CD lightning service version 3 and in here will also be the host name okay so we're going to grab that host name so if you uh, want to nano into that host name then we'll it'll create an onion address for us and that's the onion address that we're going to give out to people who want to connect to us okay um, so we will copy that um, and use that in just a second so we'll put that to the side here um, we're then going to need to uh, edit our config file in our lightning directory. So that is um, sudo nano dot lightning config. Okay, so that there. And you'll notice that we just created an alien, alias um, of lightning node 123. Okay, but we're also going to need to add some more lines as a result. The first one is bind address equals uh, 127.0.0.1 slash uh, 9735 okay uh, the next one is proxy equals 127.0.0.1 slash uh, colon 9050 and we also need the announce address so announce ADDR and we will copy this address um, into our there and we'll also add colon 9735 so the entire line will look like that okay so we'll add those as our um, additional config files uh, additional configuration okay so we'll save that yes and we can get out of here uh, we don't need that anymore and if we ever do want to 
Um, so we'll exit out of there. But if we ever do want to uh, read out um, that that Tor address again or, or get it, we can go sudo cat uh, var, var lib tor lightning uh, lightning underscore service underscore v3 slash host name and that will spit out the um, the Tor onion address for you okay so we'll now go back to our lightning and restart that so sudo system ctl restart lightning d okay and then we'll also just check how that's going so let's look at the status Okay, looks good. And then we'll also just restart Spark Wallet. Okay. And hopefully now, if we go into the node, we can see our full um, address that we can give to people. That message of uh, it's no longer uh, accepting any incoming connections is gone. And it's got our address here um, as well. So now we are fully uh, within Tor um, and so we can use this to give out to people to connect to us, uh, to, to our node as well. Okay.